Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Beth Tessier with Beauty by Beth. Today we are going to do a soft contour look. This is what the completed look looks like. I think it's really subtle, really feminine, really soft and lovely. If that's something that you're interested in, keep watching. Been following a new makeup artist on YouTube and she did this really great technique called soft contour. It's not a new technique but I loved it and I thought you know what let's try to replicate this with same products. I'm going to prep my skin like I always do first with my vitamin C serum. I'm still using the Naturium vitamin C serum. I love it. Soak into my skin for just a few seconds. I'm going to apply the e.l.f. putty primer next. and I'll let this soak in for, you know, 15 to 20 seconds. We'll be using Ash Contour. I'm using Saint Makeup, and I'm using the Detail Brush for my contour. To apply the soft contour look, I'm gonna be using the small end of the Detail Brush. I want to look at my face, take a really good inventory of exactly where I want to contour. My cheekbone is up here. I don't want to quite contour that high, so I'm going to go right under the cheekbone right here and just contour a little line right in here. If you haven't used our Saint Makeup before, it is cream and goes on beautifully, blends beautifully, looks really beautiful, especially for maturing skin. When I come actually to the end of this, I'm going to go down a little bit and just kind of sculpt out my face right here. My face a little bit of slimming and on this side as well. Now I am putting this contour on bare skin. I'm putting it on first. And then when I get to this part right here, I'm gonna flick it down. To create, can you see how I'm creating that little bit of slimming? Softly contour the edges of my forehead. I'm going to connect my brow to the bridge of my nose right here. Contour the tip of my nose under my lip. Let's talk about my jaw. I like to slim this part right here camouflage this little bit of a double chin and then I like to contour this right here I have this little bit of a jowl and I just want to contour that away let's erase that can you see what a difference it makes to contour right there same on this side. It's magical. I'm going to be using the 3D brush. I'm going to go into my highlight shade and just apply it all over. I'm using the smaller end of the blur brush, I'm going to tap into my brightening shade. And I'm going to go in with what would be considered your concealer. And I will be taking the blush bronzer brush. Actually, I think I need to clean off a little bit of blush that's on that. I definitely don't want that to transfer at all onto this makeup look. Good thing we have our Saint Brush Cleaner close by. So taking this smaller end and I'm going to start blending the light shades first. This is where the idea of soft contouring really comes into play. I am going to start with that same end, blending out the contour on my face. 
I'm going to be blending it quite a bit because I just want it to leave a barely there look of contour. I want it to look pulled together and polished without it looking harsh and chiseled. So let's use the small end again of the blush bronzer brush to achieve this. I think this is such a pretty look. You can still see that there's a little bit of definition, but it's very subtle. Just looks very natural. I love it. What really makes this a soft look is going to be your setting powder. I'm using our Vanilla Dust setting powder. I love this setting powder. It just goes right in my compact. It not only sets our cream makeup beautifully, but it also provides a little bit of brightening. Without powder, you're going to have a lot of light reflecting onto your skin. Cream is very dewy, which is beautiful, but for this look, we're going for soft. You have dewiness on your skin. The light catches it and reflects it, and it kind of sheens, but our vanilla dust is going to soften everything for this look. Let me show you. Love our powder brush. This angled end fits perfectly right into our vanilla dust. So I just give it a pretty good little swipe. Just kind of tap off the excess. And then I'm going to start powdering around my eyes, around the contour. Are you able to see on camera? how a little bit of powder, and I'm not using very much, but a little bit of powder just softened this. So when I turn, you can see that it just looks very soft and lovely and feminine. And on this side, it does look great, but it's very dewy. So the light is catching it quite a bit. And the side is just really soft. Let's tap into more powder and continue on this side. Once again, you can see how the powder is what is making this look really soft and lovely. Off camera, I'm going to apply my eyebrows, little eyeliner, some mascara, probably some blush and a lip, and I'll be right back. I'm still loving my City Beauty mascara. I have a discount code and affiliate link for you. I'll put it in the description. On my lips, I have my City Beauty plumping lip gloss in nude. I'll also affiliate link, discount code in the description. I put a little touch of tangled eyeshadow. It's this one right here. It's one of our cream eyeshadows. I just put a little touch of that in the center of my lid. I thought it added just a really pretty subtle sheen to my lid. And then I applied a little bit of Glamazing Illuminator. Just enough that when the sun or the light catches it, it's going to just shimmer just slightly, but it's a very classy, subtle shimmer. I don't have glitter on my face. It's nothing too over the top. It's just enough to be really lovely. Thanks for joining me for this soft contour tutorial. If you'd like to find a shopping link or more tutorials, tips, affiliate links, things like that, you can head over to my website, which is just beautybybeth.org. Thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you next time.